still considering law school, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. I like bars. Hello and welcome to X-Play, the only cable show that really loves you. Yes. On tonight's show, we've got our review of Black, the much-anticipated FPS that seeks to bring Hollywood action movie sensibilities to a video game. Let's just hope it doesn't involve Chris Tucker as a sassy comic relief sidekick. But first, we'll look at Driver Parallel Lines, a game that brings the principles of Euclidean geometry to driving games. We review College Hoops 2K6, which brings the pot smoking and bisexual experimentation of college to basketball. Yeah, remember college? No. Yeah, me neither. We review Dangerous Waters, which brings even more boring middle-aged madness to real-time strategy. And we'll give you our thoughts on Dragon Booster. Please be warned, most of our thoughts are that it sucked. But first up, New York in the 70s was a dark, dangerous place. It was full of crime and Norman Lear sitcoms and children's educational programming. The fourth game in the Driver series looks at this dark corner of New York's past. Here's our preview of Driver, Parallel Lines. Mm, we get it, there are strippers in the game. And we should also make it clear that Driver, Parallel Lines does not involve any actual Euclidean geometry. Some trash-talking transverse angles could have really livened up the games, though. Mm, see, kids? That's the kind of self-congratulatory, unfunny joke you can only make with a college degree. Stay in school. See, here's a few more examples. Hey, Adam, that Giovanni's room sure is a hell of a book. Yeah, Morgan, I conder say I prefer it to any other book. <laughs> See, <sighs> intellectual masturbation is a great hobby that you can only learn in college. If you like to learn to be a pretentious prick, but don't have the smarts to get into college on your own, consider basketball. And if you don't have the athletic skills to play actual basketball, consider our review of College Hoops 2K6. I feel like the game sort of missed out on the nuances of college. Mm, you mean never going to class because you spend all your time playing Xbox and smoking marijuana cigarettes? I'm more about crippling loneliness and eating burritos for three years. <sighs> the burrito is nature's perfect food. It's food in tube form. Yeah. After the break, Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. Different types of games appeal to different kinds of players. MMO fans, for example, are mostly shut-ins who love doing complex math. And first-person shooter fans are full of rage that will eventually culminate in them killing most of their high school. But the saddest, most pathetic group of all are the fans of historically accurate real-time strategy. Middle-aged men who love World War II and reading books about planes. You know them. They're your dad, your uncle, your history teacher. They're fine people. Just don't get in a conversation with them. They start talking about Stalingrad. Say goodbye to four hours. But if you have to talk about something, consider Dangerous Waters. Here's our review out of five. I love the Navy. Now where's my paycheck? You know, I kept hoping that the whole dangerous water thing would turn out to be a bottle of Avion that turned everyone into zombies. No, though it is possible this game could hypnotize you into a state that was like being the living dead. Yeah, well, you know, it's not really the water that's dangerous so much as the submarines. Yes, they should have called it Dangerous Metal Tube. You know, I don't care how boring it is. I would buy a game called Dangerous Metal Tube. I mean food tube. Up next, Sessler and Morgan Webb. That's right, burn. Welcome back to X-Play. Canada is America's neat, polite neighbor to the north. Canada is really, really organized and concerned about the environment. Canada never really wins any wars, but they are really good at peacekeeping. There are lots of great things about Canada. Anime is not one of them. When I think bulk wood pulp, I think Canada. But I think anime, not so much. This is the core problem with Dragon Booster, an anime series made in our beaver-loving neighbor to the north. So we're doing it. We're reviewing yet another anime game. You can start emailing us as soon as the review starts. Here's Dragon Booster. Whew. Irving. Oh, anime games, will you ever not fail us? Hey, you fanboys blind to the failings of your beloved series. Wake up! If you keep buying the games just because you love the cartoons, they'll keep making crappy games. We don't mind, you know, we like writing a scathing review now and again. But if you want decent games, you're gonna have to demand more. More! In a moment, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to that show we do. You know, X-Play. 
Air destruction, it's fun to watch, like building demolitions. Monster truck rallies. Mm, Kevin Federline's career. You know, it's just great to watch something be reduced to shattered pieces and broken dreams. Are you talking about me? No. In all aspects of life, Morgan likes to make things go boom. Unfortunately, blowing stuff up in real life tends to lead to messy lawsuits. So we've got to turn to games. Or we could get decent wigs and some aliases and see if we can make it to Mexico before the Popo try and stop us. Actually, Project Runway's on tonight. I, I can't miss it. Why can't I get a co-host who's fun? I bet Meredith Vieira would have gone to Mexico with me. But if you want to satisfy your taste for destruction in your own home... NPR's Ira Glass probably knows a lot about explosives. Here's our review of Black. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Lots of hype, but pretty average entertainment. So, essentially, it's the Dane Cook of first-person shooters. There are some neat aspects to the game. Yeah, like when you shoot something, it leaves visible and persistent damage. Which would be great if the game didn't suck. It's kind of like driving an 88 Yugo with a $9,000 stereo. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Stay off the Yugo. All right, time for viewer mail. Today's viewer mail comes from Greg. Greg writes, I bought Civilization 4, but I returned it when I found out it was a turn-based game. I didn't even give it a chance. I like Age of Empires 3 and games like that, so I guess my question is, should I give Civ 4 a chance and rebuy it? It must be a good game to have gotten a perfect score. Hey Greg, here's a crazy hey thought. Try playing a game before you decide you don't like it. Yes, yeah, Civ 4 is amazing. Most turn-based strategy games can get dull, I admit. But Civ 4 does by far the best job in the series of making the gameplay seem quick and smooth. Plus, you get to start religions in that one. That's yeah. something you so rarely get to do in your average first-person shooter. But it will satisfy the 